हेलो वेलकम टू द सेल्फ लर्निंग पॉडकास्ट बाय डॉक्टर सुषमा सिंह लेट अस स्टार्ट डिस्कशन ऑन यूनिट ट्वेंटी थ्री कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ आइडेंटिटीज एंड आवर टॉपिक इज नेशनल करेक्टर एंड आइडेंटिटी स्टडीज इन द पोस्ट वर्ल्ड वॉर टू आरा कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ आइडेंटिटी मूव्ड फ्रॉम द डोमेन ऑफ पर्सनल टू कंस्ट्रक्टिंग नेशनल आइडेंटिटी as territories were being redefined and new nationalities being created across the world some balance of construction of these identities required that national character was defined and ensured as a moral value to make citizens conform to restructured boundaries with a sense of renewed passion and commitment large scale migrations also required realignments social scientists attempted to evolve models that inculcated a sense of belonging among citizens prompting them to acquire national characters considered imperative or lying the foundations of nationalism national character studies carried out by anthropologists like margaret mead ruth bantick in the 40s acquired immense sociological significance as it was in the background of these studies that erickson made his concept of identity popular national character studies were brought in sociological discourse with the publication of meads and keep your powder dry and the ruth bantick's study of japanese society the psychosism and the sword The focus in these studies was to explore how cultures influence individuals and their personalities and impact formation of their national character a concept that in modern day sociological analysis is often addressed in terms of ethnic city studies as has been pointed out in the first lesson on conceptualizing ethnicity It is important to note here that Erickson developed his idea on ego identity and group identity while following wartime national character studies even though the concept of identity was inspired by national character studies its popularity surpassed character studies national character studies are now invariably referred in a historical sense whereas the identity studies are being reinterpreted in almost all branches of social sciences identity construction is as much central to the disciplines of political science history psychology anthropology as it is in the discipline of sociology one tends to agree with gleason's observations with regard to popularity of identity construction studies when he says identity promised to elucidate a new kind of conceptual linkage between the two elements of the problem since it was used in reference to and dealt with the relationship of the individual personality and the ensemble of social and cultural features that gave different groups their distinctive character once linkages between the construction of personal identity and social identity were firmly established social scientists started looking at problems that individuals confronted in keeping congruence between the two in situations where these two constructions of identity came in conflict 
with each other. Now let us conclude the unit. Alexis D. Tranquille was one of the first scholars to draw attention of the academic community to the possibilities of individuals shrinking their world view and enclosing their spaces to confine themselves in the solitude of his own heart, labeling this phenomena as individualism. Tenkwele analyzed this problem while addressing issues emerging out of American conception of democracy and did not use the term identity or identity crisis. Questions relating to identity acquired critical dimensions in the post-World War period due to crumbling of citadel of colonialism and reconstruction of national boundaries. Vigaries of war resulted in mass exodus and people moved to different geographical zones seeking survival and sustenance for the self and their families. In migration made local inhabitants circumspect and many individuals started realigning themselves on the basis of their religious, linguistic and racial identities. This resulted in enclosures in which in-group and out-group were clearly defined and boundaries both psychological and social were deliberately created and reinforced through oral histories. A peculiar situation emerged in what is often described as national building process. New nations along with established democracies like USA were promoting what was described earlier as national character studies. This model expected people to conform to prescribed principles of liberty, equality and fraternity laying foundations for what is often described as sociological literature or as mass societies. Assimilation was believed to be the natural norm for all those who moved from outside into the domains of their new habitants. National integration and national solidarities emanating from geographical concepts of national state were the key issues on which political mandate was generated. In this process, pursuits for seeking self or individual identity were either confined to the personalized domain of the individual or philosophy. Social identity operated under the assumed assumption of identification with the larger social milieu that was represented by a mass society. It is argued in sociological literature that the threat of mass society becoming totalitarian and subsequently domineering in the extent of producing authoritarian personalities susceptible to fascism was first perceived by the refugee intellectuals, many of whom has migrated from Germany described as Frankfurt School. It was related to two influential publications namely Reisman's The Lonely Crowd and Handling's The Uprooted. These two works were rooted in the theoretical approach called dialectic method. Dialectic referred to a process of realizing contradictions and reconciling those contradictions in a more realistic frame of reference. People who move from their homeland to their other country often experience a sense of loss that they try to come to terms with through this process of idealistic Hegelian philosophy. 
it is important to reassert that identity is a higher order concept, a general organizing referent which includes a number of subsidiary facets that include social identity, ego identity, personal identity as other additional components. Identity is all about what is common and what is specific. When interpreted in these dimensions, it becomes the critical factor in establishing boundaries. How these boundaries are constructed and legitimatized will be discussed in the next unit. Now let us wind up the session and we have come to the end of the unit. Thank you very much for engaging yourself with the self-learning podcast.